The end of Humidity is, uh, yeah, I give all this formula, but what, how was really the formulas about? Uh, actually, the work by Shimansky and Orr was about a leaf. But uh, we know we are hydrologists, we are catchment hydrology. We want to study not even a tree with many leaves, but uh, a forest. And not even a forest, something larger than, <laughs> than a forest. So we have to complicate a little thing this, this, this story. Actually, Michele would be the, per uh, the person to, know, to, to tell this thing because he is a, his presentation. I put my name, you know, I, I am his boss, so. <laughs> <laughs> so I am trying to, uh, for the acting. Here, what we do essentially is, uh, what we do so far was essentially to what we call a uh, big leaf model. Yeah, actually we think that uh, our tree is uh, just like a leaf and they are evaporating or mm -hmm. at least when thinking to uh, transpiration. Instead we have good canopies. And uh, also we have to go to the soil where the story is uh, quite different. Uh, what we do actually is to split the two things. For the soil we use a very simple approach. I say that is, everything is complicated in the reaction an engineer has when the things are too much complicated, they do very simple, <laughs> you go the opposite way. So we use Prissy Taylor for evaporation of soil, in, at least in, in, this, in this thing. And uh, for transpiration, we use the, the system proposed by Shimansky and Lohr. Here we have, uh, and the total evaporation is just the sum of the components, and you can maybe derive the, 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 the ratio between uh, soil and, uh, and vegetation for using remote sensing, for instance. You say in, in this, this catchment, part of the catchment, 40% uh, is uh, uh, covered by the forest, 30% is covered by a meadow, and uh, uh, now I forget what says 40 plus 30, 70 and the rest is uh, bare soil, for instance. Uh, and so we have to separate it here. Also, we have uh, evapor urban evapor uh, evaporation, uh, evaporation from uh, uh, water, but the concept is clear. Yeah, yeah. just doing an uh, assumption here that when you have about the vegetation, you assume that the contribution of the evaporation from the soil is negligible compared to the yeah compared to the, no, not the, the transpiration. Not necessarily. Not necessarily if you are able to separate it. If you are not, that is the assumption. But it's not actually written in the way we do because because it depends uh, uh, how the separation can be done, and if the separation can be done or cannot be done. Uh, the first one thing that uh, uh, Michele did actually was to say what is going on when we uh, we have a canopy as a first step to go to catch pets. So he said, what, what happens inside the canopy is that, uh, for instance, we for most of the canopy we don't have. Uh, we don't have uh, uh, direct solar radiation. Most of the deep, uh, uh, we have, a, a, we have a, an indicator which is the leaf area index. Leaf area index is the surface of uh, leaves of in, in, in trees uh, related to the surface of the terrain on their projection. So in this square meter of uh, terrain, we do have, for instance, uh, we are in a forest of uh, uh, pines. We have uh, up to 12 meters of leaves surface. Yeah, if we are in another forest, uh, Fagum, for instance, I I uh, use Latin to escape from English. <laughs> and 
you can get, I don't know, maybe four or five different index. Obviously, radiation that is incoming is always the same. So in case it's distributed over a larger surface. But, you know, evaporation comes through the surfaces, actually. So uh, you have the, the, the leaf on top that receive direct solar radiation. They are evaporating at full range. Then they, you have the leaf on the back. And uh, you should have also the, some threshold due to evaporation, which is included in the CE or RG. And we have, you have some limitation due to the solar radiation. You have, you have enough solar radiation. You actually activate photosynthesis, and then you activate also evapotranspiration. If you don't receive enough radiation, you don't do anything. Even if it's questionable if you can uh, the plants really close the stomata uh, at all. So what uh, uh, we did, or Michele did uh, in practice, is that uh, we take uh, some model for a canopy and uh, estimate the part of uh, uh, of the canopy in the sun, and uh, uh, given given the, um, the leaf area index, which is varying with time, because if we have pl plants that uh, lose the, the leaves during winter, they cannot evapotranspirate. Exactly for the same reason that when you don't you <laughs> you don't have water, you you cannot evapotranspirate. If you don't have leaves, you cannot transpirate. So we have this leaf area index. According to the leaf area index, we have a structure of the canopy. So far, our canopy is spheric. Okay. So we do some simplification on that, and uh, uh, we uh, evaporate from the leaves uh, accordingly. Obviously, uh, leaf area. Uh, we are not using all the potential in leaf area index. The first error we did was to make all the in any case, uh, all the plants, to all the leaves to transpirate, so we have a b uh, bunch of ghost evapotranspiration, meaning that we have a lot of uh, transpiration coming out that it was impossible to have. But finally, we have uh, a, a method also to try to distinguish from transpiration, from leaves, uh, from uh, different seasons, and uh, from their source. Is correct what we are doing. The good, th the the bad thing, the bad the bad news is that we don't know. <laughs> the, the, the consolation is that not even experiment and people doing experiments here really know. So, uh, but uh, we believe that uh, with this kind of models we can go, uh, we can go to to try to distinguish better what is going on a little and uh, disentangling a little a little things. One, we have any way to way to constrain what happens is one, preserve energy, energy is conserved. So if we have the energy budget, we can control that the energy budget closed. We cannot do with this, okay, we we cannot do at the moment with the model we are presenting today. We can do with other models like Geotop, for instance. And the other is to preserve the, the, the mass budget. We actually uh, start to have the tools for getting all the components of the, the hydrological cycle, the main components, meaning the runoff, precipitation, uh, evapotranspiration, and uh, we can uh, have an indirect estimates of uh, the the quantity of water in soils. So we have to control that the, the water budget is closed at any time step. And that is a control that you, we can do, but it was not so, uh, uh, so used so often in hydrology. Because previously the, the focus on hydrology was uh, sometimes from engineers to build, uh, to build things and uh, taking care of uh, discharges. And so it was, they were thinking that uh, uh, thinking to a, a transpiration, for instance, was uh, or to the whole budget was not a good idea. But actually, 
I think is a good idea. And so one thing that you can do also for your exercise as a, is at the end of your exercise also to try to check if the water bottle is closed. It is closed. And if it is not closed, you some, some thinking, you, you have to do some thinking on what is going on and what is wrong. It can be wrong that uh, the input is wrong, so we, uh, the water bottle is not closing because we are not estimating the precipitation, and sometimes that can be the case if you have, for instance, measurement of discharges. It cannot happen that you have more discharges. Yeah, yes, it can happen that you that the, you can have more discharges than what is, uh, is raining. But you, have, you need to have some reservoir of water somewhere that push water in, in that moment inside. So you start arguing. Our models are imperfect, but your, and but your work can be more, can check it. So I stop here.